Ania Cheeks. I'm the art critic from Poland. This will be the future stars of the art world. I'm enticed, I love it. <laughs> and let's um, just simply go for it. Uh, my name is Lily Kane. I'm from California in the States and I came here for the master's program at the RCA. Yeah, and is that good? <laughs> it sounds amazing. Choosing Europe is surely a totally different take on the art world, isn't it? It's incredibly different. It's just a, a whole different hierarchy in how you kind of establish yourself in um, how you present yourself in life, I guess, or uh, how you recognize beauty in general. So it's really good to gain that cultural or net, uh, sorry, a cultural awareness here because so of that. So well, can you pinpoint the differences in actual fact or can you make comparison from where you come from, where you are? Basically, in regards to how it differs from the UK, there is... I guess there's a lot, a lot more, um, you see a lot more blondes, tan skin, basically because of the weather, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see um, a lot less clothing, but that's because temperature-wise, mm -hmm. but it's, it's uh, very different in how you, basically when it comes to sexuality and um, how you orient your identity towards a sexual attraction. That's what the a superficial attraction. Exactly, it's how you acquire attention, and that's what kind of. Uh, and there are no boundaries. Not really, no. no you just <laughs> whatever. Exactly. And, um, this is where the main difference lies between you can just be what you are, like around here. I think so. I mean, London is such one of those cities where it's just so cosmopolitan and so impacted that you identity is kind of hidden within itself here, mm -hmm. and so people really can be anybody who you want you know because there's just so much attention here you kind of hide behind that and in California there's a uh, there's definitely types of standards yeah so that I always kind of represented myself within silhouettes of myself but in the end when I talk about appearance it has to be about the <laughs> the externalization of it not internalizing everything so and at the end this is this kind of my conclusion piece to this work it happened because when I was on my finding my naked lady binge like uh, paraphernalia over there I um, I came across this card that had um, like this plus size ginger woman uh, with a leaf bikini on jump roping through cards and she's definitely plus size you, I mean she's like the double chin you know she's just bigger all over and I mean, out of everybody, with all these like you know very fit girls, I was like, who is this? And I need to have this. And uh, yeah, I immediately identified with her because she's a curvy ginger <laughs> and a little bit crazy. <laughs> so I I, um, I researched her and I found that her name was Hilda. Okay. And this man in Minnesota made her in the in the 50s, and he invented her off of this high school sweetheart he once had. So um, I really liked how she was uh, something remembered, not owned, like a card. So in all these, you know, like, uh, looking at all of her pictures, I kind of wanted to modernize her a little bit. So that's, that's what this piece is about, finding your equilibrium with yourself yeah. in reality. Okay, so how I collect my artwork, I'm a bit of a magpie. I kind of find things and I, that I really like, okay. instantly attracted to. Okay. And so they'll just kind of pile up. They kind of, and, and then I'm a maker at the same time. So I'll sit in my studio and just kind of make things when it comes out of it. So this is a piece. This is um, actually an image from the 1930s in America okay. uh, from a photography magazine that I really liked. And this woman is ridiculous. She's in point shoes, she's topless, and she's wearing a mask. So I wanted that immediately. This piece, um, moths are regarded in, it's a very different way on butterflies and moths because uh, the wings are essentially the beauty. You take the wings off, you've kind of destroyed the beauty of the butterfly or moth. And you approach the insect quite differently. You know, it just becomes another furry insect. Actually laser cut within the wing. Laser cut within the wing? You can kind of see how it goes in and out. Oh, indeed, I would have never thought, why the gold? I come from the Golden State, California. Oh, of course. And cold represents value, oh yeah, you know, exactly. so, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, uh, in the series, this comes third, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, this piece is called Polymorphism, When Butterflies Learn the Ways of Men. And it's because in, uh, butterflies are one of those two insects that are poly polymorphistic, which means that um, individual species will have 
uh, a variation of males or females, but they are the exact same species. It's just because they adapt to their immediate environment. Mm -hmm. So um, it so kind of this is what you re re you represent with immediate environment adoption. So they really um, absorb the color or the exactly. surrounding. So it's all about the uh, idolized and the adapted. I them. think I want to adopt myself to pretty boobies too. <laughs> maybe but would that happen when I lay on there? I would absorb. Maybe <laughs> we should know. Maybe we should try that. That's a bit of a wild one, anyway. Oh, you're welcome. Definitely. <laughs> Take care. Thank See you. you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>